focus supply rate. Vehicle roll off. In a pinch, arrows can be used for stabbing, shoot arrows can be recovered and used to shot, shoot shot. <coughs> Time we're going to kill some zombies. Okay, so we have some gumbo. Mm. A Ben one, mm. in it. And then we go. Jambalaya. Mm. school here. I'm going to find Casey and Kenny, if I'm guessing. I don't, I don't 
think I've been in here. Smokes. Is your name Kenneth? I, yeah. How do you know my name? Casey asked me to look for you. He's alive. In the bunker. He wanted to know what happened to you and the rest of the squad. Casey's alive, huh? That's good to hear. I didn't give him much chance, honestly. Thought he'd have blown his brains out by now. Or shriveled away to nothing. Guess I underestimated him. If you make it back to him, tell him these few things for me. Tell him he's a good guy. The guilt, it's not his. What do you mean, the guilt? Fuck it. I've got nothing to hide. We killed dozens of innocents. One more question, Kenneth. You said you killed your squad mates. Why? We all deserve death for what we did, champ. They were gonna hurt Cousin Timmy, and I couldn't let them do that. I, before you go to the bowling alley, blow my fucking brains out, yeah? That's the only way to remain human all the way to the end, right?
So what the nail? Thank <laughs> you. 
You there, Casey? <clears throat> I'm back. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? I found Kenny. You did? Is he still alive? Nope. I'll blow his head off. No. He's dead. But he told me some interesting things before it was over. Shit. Rest in peace, Kenny. My friend. What did he tell you? He wanted me to tell you something. You want to know what he said? Yes, of course. What did he say? He said... Kenneth You're spilled a coward. everything about what happened outside the bunker. He said you froze. Like a coward. Didn't back up your squad. Like a but I'm not sure he was in his right mind. I want to hear your take on it. Well, if he told you what happened, <coughs> why do you need to hear it from me? You know what you need to know, right? And you've told me my friend is dead, so... We can move on. Yeah? We move on after you tell me your side of the story. All right, hard ass. You want to hear what happened? No. Fine. There was a massacre. Three dozen people, at least. Civilians. Right at the reserve entrance. Innocent people that we should have been protecting. I should have done something to stop it, but I didn't. I stood there, a coward. And now I don't sleep. I, I have a nervous twitch in my right hand that gets more pronounced every day, and the guilt is like a ten-ton weight crushing my chest. Are you satisfied now? Those are just facts, Casey. I already know the facts. What I need to know is your perspective on the whole thing. There's a reason why you can't sleep. You're twitching like a junkie and your chest feels like it's caving in. Okay, quit badgering me, please. I'll talk, just... Give me a second to... Gather my thoughts. It's all... Fucking funny. The whole thing escalated really fast. The first bullet was Foster. I wanted to scream no, but... It's like I just left my body. Everything after that moment, it's, it's like a nightmare. Jess and Trent started firing. Jess, she, she was, she was smiling. Kenneth hesitated. He looked right through me, like he expected me to have his back. But I did nothing. So he started firing. After that, all I've been able to retain are weird details. Oh, the sounds. A hat across. Man, sometimes when I'm here lying, trying to sleep, I can actually feel my fingers shaking. What do you hear when the sounds come? The sound of terror. A cross? Like in a church? What's that all about? Yeah. Fucking strange tourist. The feel of the trigger. Yeah. I didn't want to, but I did. Basic training kicked in. Follow orders no matter what. You mentioned a hat. What hat? There was this old man shielding his wife. He had on this bright blue fishing hat, and I watched a flurry of bullets rip it right off in this spray of blood and skull. You never know for sure, Casey. That's exactly right, tourist. We've all piled up regrets. I have to. Then you will be. Simple. If you say so.
Hey, Torst. I'll get right to the point. After looking over the intel you brought me, seems like Georgia is planning to toss out a large number of people real soon. A lot of lives are gonna be in jeopardy. Good news is we have some hope. The map you scored shows a safe way out of Nola. Just need to buy some time and some space to organize exiles on a large scale. Get them ready to move. I think the reserve is gonna provide the opening I need. Georgia and the tower are so obsessed with it, don't think they'll be concerned with what I'm doing for a short while. And with the Reclaim salivating over it too, once the reserve is unlocked and revealed to the world, courtesy of you, there's gonna be a bloodbath. You can count on that. And that's when I make my move. Window won't be open long though. It'll be tight, but I gotta take the chance. Sounds like this is the opportunity you've been waiting for. I think you should go for it. Thanks for the support, Tourist. It helps, especially when the mind is working out so many what-ifs. I will leave the key to the reserve in the drop spot for you. Lantern will be on when it's there. When the shit goes down for the reserve, if you're thinking it's all too much and you want out, come find us. The Exodus could use someone with your particular set of talents. My hope is you won't be a fool. But my mind suspects you'll be too hooked on that damn reserve pipe dream, just like everybody else. All I can do is wish you good luck and good judgment, tourist. Take care of yourself.
Casey, good news. Good news? Help, tourist. I would classify that as fucking outstanding news. No, look, I, I don't want to jinx it, but... No, uh... You know what? I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Best not to risk the jinx. Let let's just forge ahead. One step at a time. Okay, so, um... The part to repair the final pump. Gosh, I... I, I don't have much to go on. It's weird. There's been really faint chatter about it on a few channels. that have been nothing but static for months. Uh, th there's an outpost called Bastion, set up in a heavily defended duplex home. Uh, barricades and optimal sight lines. The reclaimed currently control it. Now, the place has been a hotbed of conflict between Tower and Reclaimed for a while. From what I'm hearing, that's where it is, so be ready for a shitstorm. Good luck, and hey, keep your head on a swivel. Hey, Casey. How's it going? Oh, hey, tourist. Honestly? Hey, Casey. How's it going? Oh, hey, tourist. Honestly? Hold that thought. Okay. I'll be here. Hmm. Let's continue. Hold that thought. Take care of your business. I'll wait. All right. Keep us wait on this. Okay. I'll be here. I'm ready now. Where were we? Oh yeah. Hey Casey. How's it going? Oh hey tourist. Honestly, I'm a little freaked out. What's bothering you? It's just... I'm so close to getting out of here. And the closer I get, the harder it is for me to imagine what it's gonna be like out there, you know? I mean, 
I, I know it's not the same world it was before I was locked in, and, and I can accept that, you know? But it, it seems like in order to make it out there, I'm gonna have to become something I'm not. Violent, ruthless, willing to hurt anyone for even looking at me sideways. It's simple, Casey. Adapt to the violence, embrace it, or die. Is that what you did? Huh? Oh, or were you always the way you are? A and yes, this is me freaking out a bit. But there's a big part of me that's scared to meet you face to face. I mean, look, I, I don't really know you, but I know what you're capable of. And frankly, it turns my stomach when I really think about it. <laughs> You'll see. I'm not scared, Casey. You just don't want to fuck with me. That's all. Thanks for the advice. You know, I gotta hand it to you, tourist. The conversation with Hugh is always enlightening. Even entertaining sometimes. But, well, that's about all I can handle right now. I'm gonna take a few minutes to myself. I'll talk to you later. Fine, Back in a few seconds.
so. Let's go to Memorial, I'm guessing. That. with you is always enlightening, even entertaining sometimes, but well, that's about all I can handle right now. You know, I gotta hand it to you, tourist. A conversation with you is always enlightening, even entertaining sometimes, but well, that's about all I can handle right now. I'm gonna take a few minutes to myself. I'll talk to you later.
Thanks, Karen. Like that in the back of other one, other place. There's another one, there's that and the other one. What do I need? What am I missing? That's what I want to know. Oh. Got a loot box. Some scary one. Come on, regulate valve, where are you?
Bit dodge it. You made it. I didn't doubt that you would, of course, but 
My patience was beginning to be tested. <laughs> Let's start with a formal introduction. You are the tourist, and I am Jean-Baptiste. JB for short. There now, we can proceed to matters of more profound consequence. It is my understanding that this gizmo here would be of use to you. It's all yours. Consider it a gift. And when we are finished with our conversation, I will provide you with the missing dial that you'll need to operate it. Sound fair? Yeah. Sounds fair. Terrific. Now, I prefer to play it straight. Once I received word that you were collecting these devices, and to what purpose, I saw an opportunity to connect with the city's most illustrious survivor and have a chat about the reserve. So I made it a priority to acquire one through various means I will not divulge. And now here you are. It is my hope when I am through, you will see the reserve for what it is. Nothing more than a crutch holding back the people of this fine city from regaining themselves. I can focus now. Sorry. I prefer to play it straight. Once I received word that you were collecting these devices, and to what purpose? You're a cocky bastard, JB. <laughs> Not cocky, convicted. But I also know how to humble myself when deep. All right, you have my attention now. <laughs> Not cocky, convicted. <laughs> but I also know how to humble myself when dealing with someone as formidable as you. So my apologies if my demeanor seems brash. I'm a man of particular predilections. Hmm. Don't worry about it. Say what you have to say. I am a firm believer oh. in the greatness of humankind. Our ingenuity, our art, our towering scientific achievements. This reserve nonsense, even if the rumors about what may be inside it exceed our wildest dreams, the bounty will only prolong our addiction to survivalism as the only path in life. It will stifle our creativity. It will eventually lead to our withering doom. Now, this is the proposal that I have for you. Continue your search for the reserve, and when you unearth it, which I have the utmost confidence you will, destroy it. These four numbers will disable the entire flood contingency system. Mother Nature will rage through the reserve and take care of the rest. One, zero, zero, six. Flood the reserve and set us all free. Give this still glorious city the jumpstart it needs to refocus on something much grander than mere survival. Grant us hope, tourist. And thank you, most sincerely, for hearing me out. And let's keep this chat between us, if that's all right. I'm not sure my comrades would see the big picture benefits of removing the reserve from the equation. The floor is now yours, my friend. Anything on your mind that requires clarity? I'm curious about the reclaim. Yes? I've heard snippets about the reclaim philosophy. But it would be enlightening to hear it from you. It's simple, really. We want to live purposeful lives. Reclaim the world and our humanity along with it. Mere survival is so petty. It's beneath us. Forcing people to focus solely on survival, it's cruel, really. I believe we must invest in a future of our own design. Life is not worth living otherwise. What's with the gory rituals? First one was a man I knew well in my brief tenure as a tower grunt. I'd even called him a friend. Trip was his name. Snuck up on me in the middle of sleep. Tried to slit my throat. Still carry the scar. We had a long story short. Trip was no match for me. I named him. Something awful, really. 
and I dragged his body about a mile all the way to the southern bump, which at the time was the most highly trafficked exit from the tower. I found an old oak, hung him upside down from it so his lifeblood would spill rapidly into the soil, and upon his chest I pinned a note that read, Keep him coming. And just like that, I became the most feared boogeyman Nola has seen since the Axeman. Once I had fear on my side, the rest just blossomed naturally. Those with nowhere else to go wanted what I had, so they listened. And they learned. I empowered them. That's all people want. A sense that their lives still have some meaning. The reclaimed have made quite a mark on the city. How did the movement get started? After my exile from the tower for insubordination, I took to raiding their supply lines. Rather efficiently, I might add. No one ever got hurt, and other exiles clamored to join my operations. Needless to say, Mama and her cohorts were not pleased with my exploits, and they sent several communications asking me to cease my pillaging or there'd be consequences. <laughs> of course, I refused, politely. No one was going to dictate the terms of my existence anymore. But it wasn't until the tower started sending thugs out to track me down and in me that I decided it was time to send a message of my own. I have some other questions for you, JB. I've heard enough. Fair enough. Then we are finished here. The dial has promised. <clears throat> Godspeed, tourist.
We finally meet, tourist. After all the hype, you're not exactly what I expected. I'm Calm down. Maybe you've heard of me, maybe not. I could give two shits. What does concern me is the man inside the building you just stepped out of. We tracked him here. Heard the commotion upstairs. Did you kill that fool? Yep. Yeah, I did. JB is dead. The tide has fucking turned. Thanks for doing what needed to be done. From this point on, just keep steering clear of the tide. The world is a much better place without that loud mouth the world JB. Is a much rather than over the loud mouth JB. Thanks for taking him out, tourist. Thanks for taking him out, tourist. <laughs> and? Problem. The world is a much better place without that loud mouth JB blathering over the airwaves. Thanks for taking him out, tourist. Nothing better to do? Don't think we're Going not watching too long. long. I'm back, Casey. Ready to repair the pump. You still alive? Yeah, alive, but almost swimming. No turning back after this, tourist. We have to get after it. I'm running out of time. You prepared?
Let's wait on this. Okay. I'll be here. All right. Keep... I need a second. Take care of your business. I'll wait.